to episode 11 of our van build. This week I'm going to build a shower frame and some overhead cabinets. So that's exciting. It's going to be a good one. Let's get cracking. So Mike's trying to get the angle of the van, but it's not working very well. There must be an easier way. Because everybody else on YouTube gets a piece of card, scrapes it out, cuts it out, transfers it over the piece of ply, cuts that piece of ply out, fits first time. I think this is the reality of it. A whole day to make the template. So I got, I got my homemade scribe on an old Lincoln Park CD. Oh, not Lincoln Park. Yeah, let's see if it fits. And it's still got a bulgy bit here. It's still got a bulgy bit there. Mike's just putting our shower wall up. It's not going to be this wide, but he's just scribing on the other side of this thing. He's having a good old scribe. I'm just sitting here on our new bed in the sun. It's a nice day. Cold, but it's a nice day. So there's my uh, template marked out. Now to cut it. So Mike's got his piece, he's got his angle, kind of how he wants it. And now he's going to cut from the bottom. So from the bottom, that is 600. To there, is now 585. So then 585 from that side, assuming it's square. That looks really good, Mike. Thank you. It's awesome. Fits perfectly. Uh. So now you've got to stick it down somehow. Well, remember the van's not level. I'm hoping the floor is, is level. Doesn't matter what angle the, the van is at. Okay. That's it, the angle to the floor. That is the right angle to that wall. Okay, yeah, that's cool then. Trying to get it square because it, it bows, which is a bit tricky. So I've got this bit of wood in here attached to the bed, attached to that, and then that bit of wood there, which is going to come out afterwards. It's just there to make sure that it's going up straight. And the only problem is, in a van, nothing is square or straight or level, and plywood has got a tendency to bend when you don't want it to. Right then, it's trying to do that. I would just do it so it looks okay. It's just taking that bit of woody put up. Drill onto our nice new walls. So Mike made a start of building our shower. So he's put up some 12 mil plywood here. Pocket hold it all the way up into the wall and into the ceiling. And then he's got this little supporting piece which is also supporting our bed base, which he's plugged into. So a little cross piece here and then a frame here. We're gonna have plywood on each side and in the middle is going to be the um, plumbing. That's put in ready for to fix the mix this tap to. We're having to give the shower unit a break for the moment while we wait for some plumbing parts to turn up. While Mike's waiting for his plumbing pieces to turn up for his shower, he's going to make a start on the upper cabinets here. What are you going to do, Mike? I'm going to put a strip of wood along there, a strip of wood along there, and then put some out and up. The plan is all up here. It's modifiable because Joe doesn't know what it is. The reason we're starting around the corner here is if it does... To hide any mistakes we make. We'll make the mistakes on the one that's not going to be the high profile spot. But there won't be any mistakes. Mike knows what he's doing. Mike's pre-drilled and countersunk the holes in this piece of wood that's going to go up on the wall. These are the pieces of wood Mike's cut and he's going to mount them up on the wall now and make a cabinet. Place the button up the back at the bottom of my cupboard and to work out where everything else is going to go. I'm using this corner piece here. I measured the height from that to the floor. I marked my horizontal line there, come out 300 mils, and I used my set square 
to get a vertical line up to there and I measured distance from here back to there to get my distance along here to run a line all the way along here hopefully that will end up being nice and square so that's why I've got to fix the outside of the roof board <laughs> there like that that one's going to go in there like that and then the other one's going to be at the end up there like that Poor Mike was stressing out because it was wider at this end than that end, <laughs> forgetting that the van actually narrows. <laughs> oh god, this is scares my head in. <laughs> I think straight. Yeah, that's pretty good though, Mike. Oh, we have a cabinet. Put the two plates into it. workstation for making my cupboard doors set up. Got a section here for cutting out the timber lengths. I've got stops so I can make them all the same length, that one. Next comes on to making the pocket holes in the sides, screwing them together, clamping them. I've got my router and i got my vicious bit for cutting out the hole for the hinges. DIY cabinet doors by Mike. Oh, my first piece I can set up to cut. So I'm going to cut the frame edges out here and then I'm going to put, make some pocket holes in here join the two like that to make the frame and then I'm going to use my router to gouge out an inset here and then that is then going to make the centerpiece of the door recessed in. So Mike's just cut out the some pieces to make his frame and his pocket holder. Do you want to show how it's all going to go together as a frame? That's it. That bit there, that bit there, that bit there, that bit there basically. And then what he's going to do, he's going to route out a little recess all the way around and then he's going to put a bit of plywood in there and that's our shaker style door. I've set my depth gauge on the router so that when I push it down it goes down the required amount into the wood and I've set my width gauge so I can run this on the outside and it'll gouge out through here. So there's my frame gouged out with my router. Just need to cut the piece to go in there. I also need to cut two holes for the hinges. My finished door. Now I've got to paint it. That's good, Mike. So that's it. Shower in and the first lot of upper cabinets. So until next time, stay safe, have fun, and enjoy lockdown.